light shines in the darkness and darkness comprehended it not. Righteousness is God's ability unveiled. It is an intrusion of God's divine ability to put to end the issue of failure in darkness. Whatsoever that is born of God overcome it, the world. We are not ordinary. The life and the nature of God is in us. If God wants to do something in your neighborhood, it's going to be true in you. I hold family to my declaration of faith. And what is my declaration of faith? It is the testimony of Jesus. I can see a glorious me. I can see a better me. I can see a truthful me. I can see a better me. I can see a better me. I can see a better me. Glory to God. Before I go to my final scripture, Jude, just one chapter. I want to show you something there. See, when you study your Bible, it should bring chills to your bones. Are you hearing me? See, you should self-correct. Are you hearing me? Yes. It's better to self-correct. Yes. Oh, I'm telling you. I tell people, there's a reason why the Bible says, you humble yourself. Yes. Because if God humbles you, you are not yes. going to recover from it. He says, you humble yourself. Because if God humbles you, he does it publicly. Yes, he does. You know, was it several months or maybe several weeks or so ago, I was teaching about honor. Remember yes, that series? Yes, Please go back and listen to it again. Yes. Go and listen to it again. These are the manifestations of the end times. It's in the book. It's a man will become disobedient. Disobedient. To authority, to parents. Like we have never seen before. Can I show you something? Yes, sir. Good. But I want to remind you, though you once knew this, that the Lord having saved the people out of the land of Egypt, I'm reading Jude 1, reading from verse 5, afterward he destroyed those who did not what believe. And the angels who did not keep their proper domains, but left their own abode, he reserved in everlasting chains under what? Darkness for the judgment of the great day. Now, just... Uh, a thought on that. You know, it says these angels did not maintain. You know who these angels are? They married the sons of men. The Bible says. That's how giants were born in the earth. Angels saw some beautiful sisters and they started to leave their estate and say, whoa! And God said, keep saying whoa because he reserved them in darkness as we speak now. They are still there. Because it, it was an abomination. Mm-hmm. All right. So Sodom and Gomorrah and the cities around them in a similar manner to these, having given themselves over to what? To sexual immoralities and gone after strange flesh, are set forth as what? As example. Suffering what? The vengeance of what? Of eternal fire. Likewise, notice, notice, now, 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 now. Slow down. <laughs> Likewise, also these dreamers defy the flesh, reject what? Authority. And speak evil of what? Of dignity. Now notice, he said, yet Michael, the archangel, in contending with the devil, when he disputes over the body of Moses, dare not bring against him a revelry accusation, but said, the Lord rebuke you. Now notice, that is the devil. Evil angel. Archangel Michael, he said he could not, he did not, he still respected the authority of Satan, even though Satan was already cast down from heaven. But but Michael, the angel, still had the consciousness. Oh my God. Did you remember David? 
Even though David knew that God had rejected Saul, yes. yeah. he still treated him as though he was still anointed. Yes. Oh my God. Yes. He said, even Michael could not even bring an accusation against Satan. He said, the Lord rebuke you. He said, I rebuke you. I said, you read this like it should bring chills. So that I see people, they just sit down and cut the pastor into sizes and eat him up on the dining table. Size him up. You know, just before we got married, I told my wife, I said, the day I hear you talk about a pastor, this marriage is over. She's here. That's what I told her. I said, whether they are right or wrong, the day you talk about a pastor, this marriage is over because I will not partake of your sin. When you read things, it should bring chills to your bones. There are things you should be quiet about. Now, you see, we God's people, we, 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 we know faith. We know how to release faith. We know how to, but we lack discipline. We lack fundamentals. These are supposed to be the elementary teaching. Understanding spiritual authority. And how they can form and affect the course of your life. Here was a guy. You know the fellow. Drunk. One of the sons came and saw the father nakedness. And went and told the other children. He said, your father is a mess. He's a fool. He's drunk. And he's naked. The two other sons, when they came, when they heard, you know what they did? One had a, 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 a garment. They didn't look at their father's nakedness. They went backwards and covered their father. The one that saw their father, curse was on him. Even though the man was drunk and acting like a fool. Then you see some people, they will post their father's drunkenness and all of that on Facebook and share all of that. Oh, I can tell where you're going. That's why I tell, that's why I tell you, your parents, they are not your friend. You don't understand this. You don't, you, many of us, we don't understand the spirituality of life. That's the problem. We don't understand the spirituality of life. He say, honor your father and your mother so it can be well with you and so you can live long. So you expect things to be well with you after you have dishonored your father by default Jesus. and continue to do so because like my father was not there. Was he supposed to be there? Wow. Wow. I told you when it comes to honor, it's not something that they earn. They, you don't, your parents don't earn honor. It's something that you give by revelation. Let me ask you a simple question. When they pull you over, do they aim to pull you over? No. Do you say, hey, officer, you, you don't deserve it. <laughs> you may die. <laughs> you may die. You just say, I don't, I'm not going to, you don't deserve to pull me over. I'm just going to drive off. You know what that is called? <laughs> I tell you, I'm not, I don't, I don't know your parents. I don't know what they've done. And I cannot excuse whatever they've done. Whatever they've done is between them and God. That's it. Yes. But I'm going to tell you the truth. You have a job. You have a business. Your business is not what your parents did to you. Your business is what you do to your parents. And what God is asking you to do so it can be well with you. Yes. So you can live long. Now, you know, you can, you can be 80 and not live well. When he say live long, it's not just talking about longevity. It's talking about the quality of life. Yes. It's something that you give to your parents. Can you, how can you just diss your parents? Like, what's, what's wrong with you? You wonder, you just, boom, say it's an accident. Something just happened. There are, there are things that you don't play with. There are things you don't play with. There are things that we can't play with. 
That's why I tell you. Your father is not your friend. Your mother is not your body. You honor them. Are you hearing me? That's right. Maybe I should say it again. If you are still taking rent or Ubering your parents to doctor's office, you know, you know what I call Uber. You Uber your parents to doctor. You really are not Uber driver. You take your parents to the doctor. You say, Mom, give me, give me 24 gas. 24 gas. 24 gas. 20 for what? So uh, if you want me to take you to the doctors, I need 20. You need 20 to, t- to take your mother to doctor's appointment. You need 20. That money will hang in your throat. Yes, sir. Yes. Oh, boy. Okay, and I get it. Listen, come on here, come on. He said, but they speak. Look, look here, look here, look here. Now, I said, this to bring chills. I said, that's the devil that was already cast out of heaven. Yes. And Michael did not. He recognized authority. Now, I'm not saying that you should, you should, you should have, or you say, Pastor, so we should recognize the devil is authority. You, no, no, no. You have a greater authority than Angel Michael. You understand? You are in a different class. You are not in the same class with Angel Michael. That's right. That's right. So you are in a greater class. Jesus paid no respect to demons, so we don't pay respect to demons. That's right. So the angels did that because they were, they were, they were colleagues previously, you understand? Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. They used yeah. to be colleagues, you understand? They were three archangels. Yes. Lucifer, Angel. Lucifer, Michael, and Gabriel. And Lucifer sold out, the son of the morning, sold out. But Michael was still conscious of that authority. But look at the next verse. He said, but this speaks evil of what? Of whatever they do not know. Chapter 10, are you there? I said chapter 10, verse 10, chapter 1, verse 10. But this speaks evil of whatever they don't know. Uh-huh. And whatever they know naturally, like brute beast, in these things, they, want, they corrupt themselves. And notice what he says. He said, woe to them, for they have gone what in the way of what of Cain, have run greedily in the air of what of Balaam, for what for profit. Money, 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 money. Money, 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 money. He said, and perished in the rebellion. Of Koran. Do you know who Koran is? The gentleman that opposed Moses. Yes. Maybe you should go and study for yourself. The gentleman that opposed Moses. He's still making reference to it. Just a book before Revelation. Wow. <laughs> Not in Malachi. <laughs> before the last book of the Bible. Before you close the door. Just to remind you. Are you hearing what I'm telling you? So I said I wanted to show you one more last scripture. So I wanted to bring that. So please and please, I'm, I'm asking you again, please and please, do not partake. I told you, you don't talk about another Christian. Are you hearing me? And I told you, I said, when you start talking about a minister, you, need, you, need, you have gone, you, have, you, have, you are lost, you have gone too far, too far now, too far. Instead of go on your knees and say, Father, in the name of Jesus. Oh, dear, dear, dear. Because you don't understand the mystic, the mystery of the body of Christ. He said, we are all one member of the same body. One last scripture. Go on, you... God have mercy. I'm telling you. But we have to be wise. Amen? Yes. We have to be wise because the wolf is stay in sheep clothing. Mm-hmm. Are you hearing me? Yes. Stay in sheep clothing. Open your words, your eyes. Tell somebody to do that. Open your eyes. Yes. Wide.
I'm not saying you should be suspicious of everybody. That's not what I'm saying. <laughs> there's, a, there's, a, there's a thing like between you becoming suspicious, you know, and becoming very, very cautious and you don't receive anything anymore. But uh, Second Peter in chapter number three, that's my last thought tonight. Amen. Amen. And I'm going to kind of talk to us women tonight a little bit because I, don't, I didn't plan to do that. I'm just going with the scriptures. Amen. But know this, read it from verse 1, 2 Timothy chapter number 3. But know this, that in the last days, perilous what times we want will come. 2 Timothy in chapter number 3. 2 Timothy. Okay? Like they say, two Timothy and three. <laughs> Some of you didn't see that, so just leave it that way. <laughs> two Timothy. Or oh, you say, I, I Timothy. One, one Timothy. <laughs> but know this. Come on here. That in the last days, perilous times will come, difficult times, he says. For men will be lovers of what? Of themselves. Lovers of what? Of money. Boasters, proud, blasphemous, disobedient to what? To parents, unthankful, unholy. Hey, can I say something to you? And you have to be careful. You know, the Bible says, because of iniquity, the love of many, we what? We was called. Now, it means that because of the iniquity in the heart of men, the love of many, their love for God, we was called. That's one way of looking at it. Another way of looking at it is that because of iniquity, for example, just a few days ago, uh, There's this gentleman that almost ran his bumper. He, he would have destroyed his car. You know, he didn't know there was something in front of him. So I had to stop him. I said, hey, 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 stop. There's something, there's danger in front of you. You may want to back out a little bit and turn this way. He, he just backed out and just like that. Now, the way I was raised, when somebody helped you, you say what? Thank you. Now, if you're not careful, next time you say, just hit it. Hit it. <laughs> you, understand <what? laughs> you understand what I'm saying? But be, you see, because, of their, because they are unthankful, it shouldn't change your character. Yes. Because you can help people and they will turn out to be ungrateful. Yes, yes, yes. But don't allow your ungratefulness change your character of okay. godliness. Don't allow your love was called because yes. people are unthankful, ungrateful. Yes, sir. And turn their back and hit you hard. Like, whoa. You. That's it. And many have decided, you know what? I'm done. Mistake. Yeah. But I'm telling you, don't do that. Because what you're doing is not unto them, but unto God. Your reward is with God. Are you hearing me? Yes. So he said they will be unthankful. I know many, many, most of you, you heard the door and the, so a, a gentleman or a, 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 a lady was behind you and you heard the door and they just walked by as though you are their doorman. Excuse me, like, come back, come back. You, <laughs> <laughs> you take the door yourself. <laughs> Don't do that. You understand what I'm saying? Uh, you know, I'm not, I don't know if you have had to deal with that. I have. But my Jesus says, praise the Lord. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be like this. Hey, excuse me, you left something. She came and said, open the door yourself. <laughs> Don't do that. You are born again. No, man? Yeah, born again. <laughs> so don't let their, their bad character change your good behavior. Amen? Amen. Now he says, traitors. 
Okay? Headstrong. Lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God. Can I explain that to you? You can say, oh, I'm a good Christian. That doesn't apply to me. Let me explain to you. The Super Bowl today and their service today, which one will you go to? Do you know many Christians will stay at home? He said, lovers of pleasure more than lovers of God. It just applies there. I can't miss walking dead. Walking dead. Walking dead. Walking dead. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I need to bring it down so I can kind of pinch you so you, can, you know what I'm talking about. So when you say lovers of pleasure more than lovers of God, so you ask yourself, what have I put over, over God in my life that gives me pleasure? You can enjoy Super Bowl, all right. But listen, whether you watch it, you don't watch it, there will be a winner. And you're going to get to find out who won. You understand? So how can you back in the Christian spend 12 hours watching video, playing video game? You can't spend five minutes praying. And you're supposed to be a deacon or, or an elder. And you'll be watching basketball. See, the one that really troubles me is when men, men, men are watching basketball's wife. I can already tell that you're, the, 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 it's the, it's, you are dealing with the lost. Because it is the beautiful women that you are concerned about. It's not the basketball. It's the wives. <laughs> and you are supposed to be an elder. <laughs> Watching basketball wives. <laughs> Why? Not even basket, bas- basketball wives. <laughs> See, when you become a leader in the house of God, there are things that you have to understand. That things change. Yeah. Okay? Things must change. Things must change. Lovers of pleasures more than what? Lovers of God. Having what? A form of godliness, but denying his power. Now, what did he say? Now, you, can, can we read? I didn't write this Bible. What did he say? Now look at it. Look at it. Can we read it together? One, two, go. Amen. And from what? Such what did he say? Why? Because sooner or later you're just going to be like them. Yeah. How can it be okay for someone to tag a sexually suggestive thing to you and you are okay with it? <laughs> That's the day I, you. Not a friend. Is there something? Is there, is there yeah. another level of that? Where yeah. you, don't, you can't find me again. Are you here? Can, I, can, I, can I tell you something? I remember this is uh, 2008. I said this in close. 2008, I wanted to buy a cell phone on Craigslist. Uh, I saw the phone. It was good day and stuff like that. And the gentleman said, uh, I said, okay, uh, where can I get it? You know, we're, you know, good to go. He gave me an address. It was a strip club. I said, I'm not going. I said, can you meet somewhere else? See, he's working. I said, forget it. I don't have public relations officer. <laughs> now let me ask you a simple question when you saw the pastor in front of the strip club you won't say he's going there to preach no 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 you are not preaching <laughs> he's not preaching you know what the bible said we should stay away from every appearance of what evil. of evil that's it because there are some things that you may, you may have to explain and explain. For example, if I catch a brother in, in, in the women's bathroom, I, you, there's no explanation to that. Are you blind? There's no explanation. What explanation are you going to give that it was a mistake? 
What mistake? What mistake? There was female. There was male. And there is this picture. A lady with a biscuit. <laughs> what did you get? Are you transgender? No. Uh, if you are, you need to be prayed for also. But let's forget about that. How did you get to the women's bathroom? Are you drunk or what? Are you high? Did you get there? See, you, there are things you can't explain. <laughs> How serious? It's an appearance of evil. Yes, sir. Well, you know, you're coming from the alley, it's dark alley with the sister, and you say, Nothing is happening. <laughs> you think I'm naive in this game? What, what do you mean, nothing is happening? <laughs> Are you hearing what I'm telling you? Okay, for example, it's almost nine o'clock and you happen to drop somebody off. They didn't have a ride and stuff like that. Now, I'm not suggesting anything. I'm not insinuating anything. I'm just giving you wisdom. Wisdom. Okay? You drop them. Hey, can you come inside for, for cold water? No, I don't need cold water. I'm, I'm not tasty. I'm good. I'll see you on Sunday, church. <laughs> Are you hearing what I'm telling you? Or they say, do you, do you mind me walking you to your door? Just stay in the car and watch me. That's enough. <laughs> Can I say something to you? Wisdom is profitable for what? To direct. Wisdom. Wisdom. And tomorrow now they found her dead. Who was the last person that they saw with that one guy or, you know, and they saw one guy in front of the door? You, are, you have to start explaining yourself. You start to explain yourself. Oh, I just, I just went in there to take, just to take a bottle of water and your fingerprint are everywhere. <laughs> now, now, you may be innocent, but you see what I'm saying? Stand to your feet. See, I've been in ministry now for 17 years. There are things that I have seen. Are you hearing me? There are things that I have seen. I've been pastoring now for October will make it 17 years. There are things that I have seen. There are no new devils. It's the same thing. To my amazement, the same thing that I saw Back there in, in Nigeria, when I came, I say, Every is the, dem- the devil is the same, yeah. it's the same. I'm not, I'm serious, it's the same problem. There is no church problem that is unique to a church, it's everywhere because it's people's business. Say, I, say, I listen to God, say, I'm wise, say it again, say, I'm wise. Say it again, say I'm wise. Say it again, say I'm wise. I am wise. Enough, a brother lives very close by here. He told me he was so nice to this lady. So nice and just just brotherly love continue kind of nice. Now you have to define brotherly love too. Because you can be brotherly love and the sister is not sisterly love, or vice versa. He said this very particular day, you know, it was her birthday and stuff like that. He was like, walked in and was like, hey, how you doing? Happy birthday. I just came to wish you a happy birthday. Oh, she was ready for her, for him. Enter that place was behold Eve before they fell in the garden. So you know what that means. He ran. He said, no. Imagine if he was not a man of character. Like, oh, just, you know, you don't have to do this, you know. You know, you know we're Christian. You, you are you a Christian. You, you just put, you're not going close to help out. By the time she holds you, 
you are gone. Wisdom. Tell somebody wisdom. Of course, nobody told the brother to show the bread. From that day, there was no longer brotherly love. Continue. It just ends. Father, tonight we hear you. We hear you. We hear you. We hear you, Lord. We thank you for listening to this message. We hope it's blessed you. You can write us at Grace House in Huber Heights, Ohio at P.O. Box 24395. You can also email us at media at gracehousechurch.org. Also, you can visit us on the web at www.gracehousechurch.org. God bless you.